Brad TRT for Warriors coming at you with an Inception video. A Greg Doucette versus Chef Andre versus More Plates, More Dates. My review of the review of the review. And are you in fact natural? Think about it. Are you? You're the only one that knows. How do you sleep at night? The one thing that I know this is like a serious conversation, but the top comment, I, I, I couldn't help but laugh when I saw the top, top comments and it was like, how do you sleep at night? And he doesn't. Like, <laughs> that's comedy, dude. That's comedy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Derek, more place more at com. Today we are going to be... Talking about uh, Chef Rush again. So if you saw my video about a week ago at this point, I did a video called Chef Rush Exposed, where I basically reviewed the men's health <laughs> video that showed 10, him calories and two explaining his 10,000 calorie diet, you know, doing 2,222 2, push-ups a day, his big workout on top of that, the nutrition he needs to support that, his supplementation, and most notably his complete absence of sleep so the guy sleeps for two hours a night and if you saw the thumbnail you know he does claim he's all natural all over the place this is a post he made i don't know how long oh, ago really? it is now all natural out of the horse's mouth lol the truth is i wasn't if i wasn't i wouldn't mind telling so not only is he saying what? he's all natural but he's also saying that's not a thing it's not even just about that he doesn't want to talk about it to like negatively influence people he's actually saying that if he was in fact unnatural that he would come out and just say it and you know a bunch of articles pick this pick that up obviously and you know he's been very very out well i wouldn't say he's been very outspoken about being natural but he's at least mentioned it once <laughs> he's at least mentioned it before so anyways in the men's health video i'd recommend checking that out if you want the backstory on the more elaborate uh kind of response I have to his, you know, what I consider to be essentially a psychotic regimen that is impossible to follow. And self admittedly, he, you know, went on to elaborate on how this is not a sustainable regimen either in his response video, which he did a live stream response. He actually commented in my comment section. I tried to filter through the oh, comment really? section to find it so I could show it on this video. It's either huh. been deleted by him or I just can't find it, but I felt I went through my creator studio filtered by his uh, username. Couldn't find shit. Whereas before there was definitely something in there because I saw it. There was a big thread and he was responding to people in it before. Didn't think I'd be doing a follow up video, but you know, now that we are, you know, went back, things gone. So I also went to my DMs, nothing. So I don't know if he sent me something too, because he mentioned, uh, Greg mentioned how Chef Rush sent him something like pretty scathing apparently which he then subsequently deleted before greg could screenshot it which we're going to be getting into shortly because this whole thing essentially is the response greg made to chef rush this is kind of me reacting to more greg than anything but also kind of revisiting the subject because i posted the video <laughs> about a week ago so his original response i believe posted before greg made his video the live stream though that he posted has also been deleted interestingly enough so i can't really react to it for you guys either because it's not even on his page anymore so from what i saw in snippets like i've i had it saved to my watch later but didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing because it's pretty long but from what i saw when i clicked on it initially it was like um you know stuff about how they cut out a bunch of clips from the men's health thing they kind of repurposed it in their own way and cut out a bunch of you know crucial information and it sounded like this is not his regimen on a daily basis but again even if it's intermittently even if it's once a week still makes no fucking sense you know you would there's no one in their right mind who would justify and say cut out this much sleep in order to get this many calories and rather you would have people telling you the opposite eat less of these meals in order to get more sleep in. Like that's a very logical conclusion. I think every single person on this channel would come to. And then obviously the gear thing, he's not talking about the gear, even though it's pretty <laughs> fucking obvious what's going on. You know, there's a whole but cluster fucking that. Yeah, uh, like I mentioned in one of my videos, right? When I did my review, I mean, you're not gonna be in your 50s with 24 inch arms fucking jacked and then calling out, you know, veteran suicide 
and then not connecting traumatic brain injury and why we have all these people dying. Well, why they're fucking dying is because they don't have sex hormones and they feel like shit. They don't have fucking boners. They want to fucking die and then they kill themselves. Well, how do you stop that? Getting hormone replacement like fucking Chef Andre's on. So it's, it's total bullshit video, which I don't think he handled the best way he could have. Like he was actually very calm in his live stream. He was chill, seemed really nice. His comments to people are pretty uh, harsh though. And they aren't well received obviously, which is, uh, you know, I can sort of see why he'd be annoyed though. Cause he's taken out of context, presumably from men's health. They like chop him up into this thing that is not even, it sounds like he's pretty much saying it's not what he meant to say that men's health did and then uh they publish it anyways and then it kind of portrays him in a certain light that he has no control over and then uh you know people perceive the video content a certain way but at the end of the day you know enough shit was shown to kind of uh, come to our conclusions that are still uh, consistent so and, and speaking of that so say you get taken out of context or whatnot well what do you do this guy already has a fucking YouTube channel. So Chef Andre needs to be out there. He needs to be doing a 2022 uh, push-ups a day um, with a non-profit to raise funds for veterans to get hormone replacement therapy so we can treat fucking traumatic brain injury and people stop fucking killing themselves. That's exactly what you need to be fucking doing. You'd be getting out there and getting ahead of the story and actually doing things instead of which we're going to hear all this nonsense that's going on with Greg Doucette. But yeah, I'm fucking furious about this because this guy has a responsibility. He's the guy who's supposedly his whole thing is about being in fitness and doing 2022 push-ups to for veteran suicide. Well, fuck you. No, get out there, do things to actually help people. Not this nonsense of getting in people's DMs and calling people racist and whatever bullshit like no one cares no you make millions of dollars a year however much you're making don't come come at us with some race nonsense no one cares about it and um and Craig just said is the opposite of that he doesn't fucking care and he lives in an ethno state he lives in like the middle of nowhere uh, Canada there's like one black guy in the entire province okay like come on <laughs> no that's not a thing Anyways, the live stream was him kind of just touching on the video saying, you know, people are silly and blah, blah, blah. And this is like not something people have to understand his history with the two hours of sleep and shit like that. But whatever. Anyways, the video is gone, so I can't even show you it. Nothing is there that has to do with the thing. And his, uh, you know, obviously the Greg thing really hit hard because his like to dislike ratio is absolutely obliterated in the past couple of videos. Um... This one, tw holy fuck, 1,000 dislikes to 202 likes. So anyways, he made a post on Instagram too, and I thought, this is why I thought there might have been a DM from him to me that I could go look at after seeing my first video, but there was nothing, so I don't know if he deleted it or if he just never sent me one to begin with. He only sent one to Greg. But um, yeah, he had a post up about, you know, the uh, the videos and stuff from me and Greg, and now it's gone. And let, let me see what this is here. Don't lose focus. Um, yesterday, da, 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 da. okay, so this is more motivational shit. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, is it so gone? I've actually seen other videos. Of yeah, him it looks like, like it is, in fact, deleted for nobody to see. Okay, so anyways, um, I never Greg... saw anything of him without, like, any of his, like, chef stuff on. This isn't just, oh, he has big, you know, arms or whatnot. This guy's literally in fucking bodybuilder shape, like, off-season and ready to, like do a cut and fucking compete i mean this guy's like two like 245 and fucking jacked <laughs> like you can't hold on to this amount of muscle without fucking gear like if you're not taking hormone replacement and treating your traumatic brain injury because if he's a veteran and he has tbi which he probably has because he went to basic and everybody who goes to basic needs to get evaluated for their hormones well fuck come on dude this is ridiculous made a pretty uh aggressive response video because he was not happy with what was in this deleted dm as well as the deleted instagram post which is what we're reacting to and i saw a highlight reel essentially of greg more angry than I've ever seen him in my entire life, to be honest. So I figured I would save it for this because I'm sort of in the middle of it in some capacity where like me and Greg made the videos and this is sort of about what this guy's perception of our interpretation is of his men's health 
you know, content essentially. As far as I know, I think we were the two mentioned in the Instagram post. So I'll go to Greg's. <laughs> this is where I'm at on the pause. I'm going to go back to the beginning. <laughs> but um, it sounds like serious shit, dude. How dare you call me a racist is the title. So evidently, whatever was in this Instagram thing is like pretty aggressive to the point oh, that. Oh, Lord. From what I saw, it was like, holy shit, if you have your headphones on, like, oh, yeah, turn them down, you might get fucking turn these obliterated yeah. by this one. So, yeah, the highlight reel Greg at the start, off. you know, me and Greg both have our, like, hooks <laughs> that we use at the start of the video to kind of get you interested in what's going on. And it's, like, literally the meat and potatoes pinnacle of him at his most angry. So we're going to skip over that because it is uh, content in the middle of the video. We're going to get through it organically. And kind of react as it comes up. So basically, Greg introduces the, uh, you know, there, there's my video. I'll just let him fucking talk. Why am I even talking right now? Watch my video, go watch it. Then go watch men's health video on the chef Andre Ross. Then go see more plates, more dates, Derek's video on the same thing. And then go see Johnny Shreve's video on the same friggin' topic. He said my channel name properly. So you know he's pissed. <laughs> but guess what? Coach Greg is racist because I made the video. So yeah, this is what happened in the dates. aftermath. Things and talking about. Wait, you hear this? He DMs Coach Greg in the DMs, sliding into my DMs. And do you think he's Mr. Nicety Nicety? No, I'm reading this horrendous message. Horror awful that you won't believe. Yeah, so something I was surprised at is how aggressive Rush is in his responses in the comment section. Like. He seems like a chill guy in his videos and whatnot, but he's like no holds barred in the fucking comment section. Like if he doesn't like what you say, <laughs> you're gonna get, he's gonna go full board on you. Which didn't is the have a chance to of what you should do as a fitness YouTuber, by the way. <laughs> and then suddenly he deletes it. It's so bad that he goes back and deletes the freaking message and changes it to the thumbs up and then blocks Coach Craig. So they have to watch what he- What was the DM? I'm just gonna- Oh, you mentioned him in the video. Gotcha. And changed it to the thumbs up and then blocks Coach Greg. So they have to watch what he posted today on Ali's account. Because I'm getting blown up in the DMC. Oh, he literally says this won't be up long. Interesting. Did you see what he said about you? And you think I wrote the chef about it? No, I made one video calling out his BS. And all of a sudden now I'm the bad guy. But it's one thing to write me in private and do this. And it's another thing to call out every single other person that writes you. We're going to go over the post you made, explain to you why I'm not racist, and see just how bad of an influencer you really are. Wait till you read the comments that he wrote to other people. Screenshotted those. Those are actually all gone from my comment section, too. Like, I... Yeah, I was looking for the first one where he was just talking to me, but then there was a whole back and forth conversation, too, between a bunch of other people that were responding to him in the comment section. Those are all gone. So I don't know if he just did like an overhaul cleanup job because he do doesn't want those there. And I could see, you know, him reacting out of anger, you know, at the point he was getting onslaughted with, you know, dislikes and uh, negative feedback and whatnot. So, you know, I'm not surprised he might have lashed out with some like shitty, you know, not well thought out comments or just, you know, anger filled comments. Probably in hindsight it was like, fuck, I probably shouldn't have made those, went back and deleted them. So those are gone. You know, everything that I've seen posted by him gone about this entirely. One person wrote a comment on his wall calling him out saying, hey, I don't believe that you only sleep that many hours. And this is his response. Like your stupid ass, bye kid. Your little boy's parents need to be out in jail or you do. Oh, great response to somebody calling you out. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, or how about this response? How would you like this? This this is what he wrote. And you, fuck your brother and sister and animals and your dad. Oh, such a nice chef. Yeah, that's such a nice message to write someone. Holy fuck. Got the screenshot on that one. This is how he responds to people writing comments on his wall. Just use your imagination as to what he wrote, Coach Greg. A lot worse, imagine. So let's see his post today. And so he screenshots a post that someone else made, not Coach Greg, not a friend of Coach Greg, not a fellow circle, some jerk writes him a message. I didn't write the message. Screenshots it, puts it on his wall. 
Then he writes, this won't be up long. So I've gotten hundreds, if not thousands of these over the last few days on my social media. Will it blow over? Yes, of course, but there's a lesson. A couple of YouTubers, Greg Do said, and made for dates this time. Dude, that's your tag of me? Fuck. No effort. I do a video on me, which is fine. I get it. Money is money. It's an industry. So, okay, so what's the problem? It's fine. It's fine. So, why the post? But when Greg Doucet misrepresents me, especially with pretending not to know why I did the 2,222 push-ups for 22 vets commit suicide a day and actually deleted my comments so no one would see it, now I know why they are finger warriors. Okay, so that is a very... In the defense of Greg Doucet and uh, uh, Plates for Dates, Derek, um... These guys have nothing to do with the fucking military. And the American fucking military, these guys are fucking Canadians. They're dirtbags. They're in Canada. They're in a communist state. And, um, <laughs> just fucking around. But in any case, they're like in fucking Canada. They're not even Americans. And, like, the fucking veterans that they've got are like, what, like, 2,000 guys who deployed with us to wreck in Afghanistan? I doubt they have more than, like, 50,000 dudes, right? So, I mean... <laughs> There's like 20 people who live there, okay? Like, come on. The, and it wasn't even in the men's, men's health um, fucking video either. They didn't mention it. And he just kind of talked about him doing push-ups. So they, he didn't even mention that part of it. He just mentioned like a challenge. So it wasn't even in the video for veterans. And then two, like I didn't fucking know about it. Like nobody talks about this. Like it's not a thing. It's not like a thing in popular culture. So I'm sorry, but this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. And these guys are Canadians. They don't need to know about what happens in America. They live in another country. Like, come on. Like, what the hell? And they live in a communist dictatorship. So they're not going to talk about, like, be, like if they're actually racists. They're, they don't have free speech in fucking Canada. <laughs> so even if they were racists, they're not going to be racist. They'll get death squatted if they even try. <laughs> Go on. That's not how this works. <laughs> Very bold claim. Wow. I didn't know that shit. I had no idea, dude. I was literally going on the men's health thing super uneducated about what he does, what his routine is, blah, blah, blah. I just knew. Um that it was absurd with the 10,000 calorie claim. And when I saw the lack <laughs> yeah, of sleep, I was calories. like, holy fuck, this is absolutely mind boggling. But I didn't know like what the reason for this exact number was. You know, I don't think any of us did. I'm sure fans of him obviously know what the reason is, but even, you know, even with the reason, like anything we'd be criticizing is the actual performance of what you're doing and your routine. It has nothing to do with us saying this is insane or whatever, or we don't think you do this, or we think your, you know, calorie intake is exaggerated and probably fabricated entirely, and your sleep schedule is like completely fabricated too, potentially, or it just makes no fucking sense in general, and why would Men's Health have published the video in the first place? That has nothing to do with this. So I, I don't know where he's pulling this from, where he would somehow presume to know that Greg knew this, and... That's a bold claim too, to assume you know why your comments is missing. Because I've seen a shit ton of comments that are, you'll post something and it'll go right, especially if you're commenting like Rush does, where it's like hyper aggressive with a bunch of swear words in it. You can expect it's gonna get filtered automatically into the spam section of YouTube. And we have, do you think Greg and I go to the spam section of the YouTube creator studio and like manually approve all of the inappropriate comments? Like, no, we don't. That's YouTube automatically filters those out. And if you're, a creator who wants to go through and manually publish each one individually, even though there's hundreds of them a day, you could do that technically, but you'd have to go through them and be like, hmm, is this YouTube friendly? Is this YouTube friendly? Like, no, like we don't have fucking time for that. So we just let them go, at least what I do, I let the inappropriate comments, whatever YouTube deems those to be, go to that section, and then after a certain amount of time, they disappear. But it's like, that's YouTube's filter that they have. Like, I don't have control over that. Greg doesn't have control over that. So I'm assuming if you post a swear word filled comment that is, you know, potentially rude or something like that, then yeah, like it would be expected that if your comment just disappears randomly, that it's probably in the spam section. So that was uh, probably not the most well thought out comment making such a bold claim without any evidence. Raise your hand if you think that I lied and pretended not to know. 
I didn't serve ass a bunch of my friends. My friends, you know, I asked, you know why he does 2,222 steps. Nobody knew. Okay, so and no veterans even knew about this either, by the way. Like, nobody's talked about this. This is not a thing in popular culture. And these guys are fucking Canadians. They're not supposed to know. Come on. I didn't do a survey. I didn't do shit. I just watched the video. So, you know, I, uh, Greg at least tried to do due diligence and uh, he didn't even find out either. So, no, I didn't know. He didn't know apparently. So, I don't think this is common knowledge if you're not a fan. Like, I don't follow Chef Rush's content, to be honest. Like, I knew who he was. This is the first video I thoroughly watched of him. So, I don't think it would be unusual to expect that we don't know a whole lot about why he does certain things. Like, all we know is you have 24 inch arms, you eat 10,000 calories, you get two hours of sleep, and it doesn't fucking line up. That's all we know. Nobody knew no one. Did I know? No. I didn't see Derek talk about it. Didn't see Johnny Stream talk about it. I didn't know. Some of you might know. Some of you know that. I didn't know what 22 represented. Why would I know that? I saw 2,222, thought it was a big number. 75 minutes of push-ups every morning that you're doing that I still don't believe. Every morning you can get up and do 2,222. That's amazing, great, congratulations. So when you make this post saying I'm a liar? No, I ain't no freaking liar. Then you say I deleted your comment. I deleted no freaking comment from you. Go post a comment again. I'll pin it to the top. Pin it right to the top. If it gets deleted, I'll pin it again. Nobody's deleted your account. Guess what? YouTube deletes comments. Yeah, so that's exactly what I was just talking about in regards to the uh, spam filter. Well, it's not even rank, you know, at the top. However, no likes. Like, no one even fucking saw it. It sat there for a week. You, it's a waste of my valuable time to be helping someone who needs it. This just reminded me of the color I am. How freaking dare you? How dare you call me racist? How dare you act like I'm racist? Everyone in the world's a circle to me. How dare you act like this? Bring in a race card. I treat everyone the same. I call the bullshit on the freaking internet. You are lying. You know you are. You're eating 1,200 grams of protein, 2,222 push-ups every day. And are you, in fact, natural? Think about it. Are you? You're the only one that knows. How do you sleep at night? The one thing that I know this is like a serious conversation, but the top comment, I, I, I couldn't help but laugh when I saw the top comments and it was like, how do you sleep at night? And he doesn't. Like, that's comedy, dude. That's comedy. Ah, man, Greg's death stare on there. I like, I went, I was gonna make another comment, but I didn't realize he was gonna not say anything during that sentence. Okay, so anyways, I can see why he's pissed. You know, there's, he's making definitive claims. You deleted my fucking comment. You did this. You're misrepresenting what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, none of these things are provable. None of these things happened. Um, and then he's implying this at the end, which obviously is like the icing on the cake, so I can understand why Greg is pissed. I don't know why you would have made that post, dude. Like, to confident, this confidently come out and be like, I literally yeah. know what's happening in your YouTube creator studio. Like, how the, how the fuck could you possibly know, dude? You know? Like, you're pretty much saying, you know, you guys are, you're censoring my shit. Like, no, dude. <laughs> We're not, trust me gonna try to bring the race card every time i do a video on someone if they're of a different color than me it's gonna be somehow i'm racist i treat everyone the same how dare you no not a race card as the people calling me the n-word would say but reality you're saying it's not the race card then you're saying oh it reminded me of the color of my skin I'm calling out what you said, not attacking the person. Yeah, so if somebody like random posts some bad shit on your thing and then you decide to make a caption about two YouTubers who made a video about your workout regimen, diet practices, <laughs> sleep hygiene, yeah, the and lying sleep. about being a natural, like how are those two connected whatsoever? I literally complimented how you looked. Said you trained hard. Was a specimen of a man. Was a specimen exactly. of freak of nature. Almost 300 pounds of pure fucking muscle and 24 inch fucking arms, which you cannot get without fucking medication. 
and at an advanced stage. This guy in his break. Have amazing genetics! I didn't attack you and put you down for the color of your skin. These guys attack them and me, but with racist, political, pure hate, not opinions. And these people were coming after my younger kids, which is absolutely a no-go. And you know people are going to read it, and then they're going to comment, and they're going to say things about me. So then we'll see the comments made about Coach Greg. Oh, you're Mr. Nice Guy. So nice. How dare Greg make a video about me? I'll just make this post, and then let's see all the hate messages that people say about Coach Greg. It says, even Greg knew this and still tagged my social. I knew this? I knew I was being racist? No! How do I know this? Even in common sense, it was seven minute video out of four hours of taping. These guys knew that, and this is their life money. I literally said in the video, maybe they edited it out. Maybe he took a nap in the morning after breakfast. Watch my video. Are you kidding me? He's getting up at 3 a.m. and doing all this work, eating that big, huge meal. Probably going back to bed. I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't say fast forward to lunch, 11 o'clock. What did he do during this time? I think he took a nap. Maybe he took a nap, and, and that would explain it, because no human being sleeping two or three hours a night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, like, for me, I didn't even say that in my video, and the reason being is because a bunch of people told me that he's been on record many times for many years saying, I sleep two hours a night. So I was like, well, here he is, and he's doing his fucking daily routine with men's health, and look at that. It's actually true. The guy's literally eating until midnight gonna be cleaning up his dishes you know getting ready for bed and shit brushing the teeth and uh it's gonna be like 1 a.m you're gonna be going to bed and getting up at 3 a.m to do your push-ups it makes no fucking sense so you know it, again it just doesn't line up it doesn't matter if the thing was four hours long and there was only seven minutes of the shit like these were the statements made like this is the shit that was presented to us this is the information that's reinforced in several of past interviews where it's been said many times and he's very open about saying he'll sleep two hour nights you know he i believe in his live thing that he deleted he said this is not a super regular this is not a regular day for him but it sounds like it's a pretty regular occurrence and at the end of the day the way they represented it was like this is his everyday routine and this is how you get the 24 inch arms and this is why he is so jacked despite being natural that's what that was men's health men's health fuck up i guess it's kind of shitty if he has no actual authority over what gets published about his own shit but you know that's kind of on you to vet what's going to happen beforehand i would think you know so at the end of the day, none of it lines up still, even with the cropped up shit. But I mean, that's, you know, men's health definitely should have taken uh, some of the blame on this too, because they definitely uh, dropped the ball, you know, representing men's health. This is like, was the complete opposite of that. And they totally overlooked it and just thought, oh, celebrity chef, jacked as fuck. He's also natural. Let's show what he does. And then, you know, it's such an obscene amount of shit that no one could possibly replicate. That'll justify why he's actually natural. That's, that's what's going to do it. And then they fucking publish it, even though they know they must know it's ridiculous and it's a very unhealthy thing to promote, but it's the only way you could possibly in your head wrap your mind around the fact that maybe this guy's natural because he's just outworking the fuck out of everybody. Literally doesn't even need to sleep. Like, the whole thing was a clusterfuck from the beginning. <laughs> and trading this way. Not possible. I said, I would really like to know what he really does. What he really eats. Not some made up scam by men's health. <laughs> Yeah, it was like a totally fabricated fucking diet, too, in my opinion. Or at least, like, no sane person, even if you're on a day where you're like, let's just say hypothetically you are on that one, if you only did this once a week, on that day, are you really going to wrap, justify in your head, like, I need to prioritize getting 10,000 calories over getting more than two hours sleep. Like, no, you would probably pull down your calories and get a bit more fucking sleep. You probably do half, you know, less of a workout. Maybe you get, you know, more of the sleep. You probably you probably find a fucking happy medium, you know, like a sane person, I would think. So that was, you know, I don't know if that's men's health fuck up entirely for, you know, making it seem like it was more exaggerated than it was, um, like in convincing him to fucking, you know, put out this bullshit or I don't know, dude. But obviously, again, like I mentioned, clusterfuck from the beginning and was bound to blow up in men's health's face and indirectly into Chef Rush's face. Who knows who was the mastermind behind it? If it was Chef Rush, if it was them, if they were like, oh, you should talk about how fucking obscene your shit is. I don't know. But obviously the whole thing was uh, 
people can see through it pretty transparently. This is not what this guy is doing on a regular basis. But Gen Pop, when they watch Men's Health and they don't, you know, know how to see through bullshit, they see this and they're like, oh, so that's how you do it. I just need to fucking sleep five hours less, get more meals in, and get 2,000 push-ups in, you know? Like, that's genuinely what some people are going to think when they see this shit. To say, yeah, and like we're gonna solve veteran suicide by doing fucking push-ups. And uh, not treating the hormones, not getting the sleep that you need, not getting fucking CPAP, not getting evaluated by a fucking doctor and getting testosterone replacement therapy along with you know, the other hormones that are probably gonna be all fucked up. So your cortisol, your uh, pregnenolone, um, your vitamin D levels, fucking magnesium. I mean, all these stuff are gonna be completely jacked. So instead of doing dumb push-ups and you know calling people racist, the opposite things that you should be doing is getting out there and talking about how, okay, we have a veter veteran suicide epidemic. There's an epidemic in men in the general population that have traumatic brain injury and hypogonadism and they need fucking treatment. So the opposite of screaming and yelling at people and calling them racist is talking about traumatic brain injury, getting treatment, and talking about the fact that you're on hormone replacement, because there's no fucking way you're going to have 20-something inch arms, and in your 50s, holding 270-something, actually looking at this guy, it might even be like fucking almost 300 pounds, like maybe like 285 or something like that, a pure fucking muscle <laughs> in your 50s. <laughs> totally jacked and then getting two hours of sleep uh no that is not how this works oh yeah this explains how he has such big arms and all that muscle i'm gonna jump around a bit because i realize my taping is getting kind of long here um let's see thank you johnny greg is playing you but i think you need an excuse to jump on the youtube bandwagon congratulations they got a black guy that they call n to post about a black guy Jesus Christ, dude. Do you really think I'm pretending to be friends with Johnny to use him for the color of his skin? Really? That's fucking crazy. Really? Really? Are you are you freaking kidding me? This is life today. Be well, be safe, be aware, and never waver. The wild thing is how he still didn't touch on any of like like you could easily just rebut the points of the video, you know, instead of being like you, you literally saying that Greg like got a black guy to do a response video too. Like what the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah, what an amazing, uplifting post you made today. <laughs> yeah, it's so amazing. Well, you know, he thought I was a good guy, but I made this video and apparently now I'm racist. So I'm not a good guy. No, no. All he does is gossip and bitch on the internet about other grown men. Bit stupid and childish, if you ask me. Like, this reminds me of Kylie Muscle. It's the same comment. I talk about other men. Stop oh, yeah. it. I, I can't remember if Callie ever came out the fact that he's definitely on fucking hormone replacement. Now, I think he's a felon or something like that, and who God knows how that, that was fucking laws work. That gets all kinds into some juicy kind of shit and the laws of hormone replacement and how testosterone is fucking a scheduled drug, which it should not be, and it should be over the counter, like it is in many fucking countries where it's just, you know, out in the open, and um, it's just like vitamin D. Vitamin D is a steroid also, and you could probably die from the overconsumption of stuff or from vitamin D or something like that and get some crazy side effects. But if you do the right dosage, just like we would do with, you know, testosterone, basically, if you're under the 650 magical number, milligrams, um, it's totally safe, and that's what they did the cancer treatment on. So if it's safe for cancer patients, it's safe for us. And if it's under that magical number, well, then you're fine. So um, now I can understand how maybe Cali Muscle doesn't want to get into it because his felon status, whatever. Hey, you know that's that's his own personal thing. But he is on home replacement, and actually they have very similar physiques. They're both holding on to roughly. 275 pounds of pure solid muscle that with hormone replacement that you can maintain but without it you'd shrink down to like 185 maybe 210 but you're not going to be that big and you're not going to hold on to 24 inch arms um they'll be like maybe 18s or 16s but you're not getting that high it's just not physically possible you, you, unless you have a, a genetic mutation but even with the genetic mutation you're not going to be able to hold on to a significant amount of overall mass like this guy's doing i mean he's 
he's essentially bodybuilder physique year round, and the only way that you can do that is with medication. So, signs on so many people improving their lives. Also, who the hell are those clowns anyway? You, so you think I'll literally do anything for views? No. I love you, chef. And you inspire us every day in and out of the gym. The world needs more of you. Yeah, because we need more people in the world to say, and you fuck your brother and sister and animals and your dad. Yeah, we need more of that. Or like your stupid ass. Bye, kid. You little <laughs> boy's parents need to be out of jail or you do. Yeah, that's that's more of what we need now, isn't it? Right, chef? Nice comments you're making to people who are writing on your wall and then blocking them after. That's so great. Or you could do so much better, right? When talking this, to a man's one. wife. Holy shit. Say you could do so much better. Yeah, that's such a positive person. What a role model. A hero. A hero to all. The savior. Great guy. Imagine if I had had the time to screenshot the message he wrote me in the DM. Oh, he made it up. He didn't write it. Made it up. Would I lie that he wrote me this message? It's so bad he ends up deleting it, blocking me, giving it a thumbs up. Okay, so obviously this is uh, this is the most heated I've ever seen Greg, I think, ever. So I can see why a lot of shit uh, culminated into this giant uh, disaster that should have just been Rush making a response video and being like, dude, like this is where, what they cut out of the video and this is like what I do and I'm not fucking natty, probably, you know, if he really wanted to just like make people calm the fuck down and, uh, exactly. So in terms of how this whole shit show and the military term, the technical military term of a clusterfuck, a shit show, uh, a foobard event, uh, happened, the opposite should have happened, which should have been, Hey, I'm going to get on to get an interview with this guy's channel, I'm going to do a video that I control and what I actually do and talk about my routine, how I'm maintaining this through hormone replacement therapy and how other veterans can get access to this treatment so they you know, don't have to die from a condition that is completely um, treatable and um, be an actual role model for other people who you know need guidance and uh, the ability to get treatment and uh, that is the complete opposite of what happened here so uh, this is uh, Brad from TRT for Warriors please check out the Facebook group uh, TRT for Warriors uh, you can also find this anywhere podcasts are are at uh, I'm not sure about Apple I may actually have to do work for that unless you want it and I'm not doing it it takes a lot of time um, but it's on Anchor FM and Google Podcasts and all the other podcast uh, hosting kind of stuff um, please share this with your friends and uh, drop some comments about your uh, TRT routine and uh, you know your diet and how you maintain living a healthy life uh, post traumatic brain injury and post uh, uh, combat and whatnot. Because uh, we've all been in the shit, we've all gotten hit, and uh, it's up to other fitness YouTubers to also get the word out as well. So, uh, special thanks uh, to everybody who's checked this out, and to uh, Derek at Place for Dates, and Greg Doucette for your work. And uh, keep it up, keep it moving. Get treatment, get your blood testing. And uh, also check out our buddy, uh, Peter, and check out... Uh, his channel, uh, TRT Tester Levels on YouTube, and his group, Tester Levels, as well. So join that as well.